Hi guys, in today's video we'll replace the exhaust camshaft without removing the timing chain. First we need to remove the valve cover. To do so needs to be disassembled the fuel system, high pressure fuel pipes, fuel injectors and uh, return line. The fuel distributor and put aside together with hoses attached. Unscrew this bracket. Remove turbo inlet pipe. The fuel pump stays in place. Detach the wiring harness and set it aside. Next will be the noise suppression cover. Fasten here on the top and another fastening point on the bottom. To remove the cover you will need to pull it downwards. And here is a better view of the cover and tensioner bolts. Here we have an overview without the valve cover. The only special tool required is a torque wrench adapter and that you will see later on. I decided to skip the disassembly of all components to make a shorter video and to focus on the main thing, which is the camshaft replacement. Remove the valve cover when assembly tightening torque 10 newts and injector bolts 8 newts. Take out the oil shower pipe fastened with 6 bolts, later on tightening torque 10 newts. Loosen the journal bolts and camshaft sprocket. I am using two spanners to increase leverage because of the high tightening torque. Unscrew tensioner bolt and set timing mark aligned with the top surface of the head engine. Fasten the timing chain to the sprocket with a plastic tie to prevent it from changing position. And here is our mark. The dot of exhaust camshaft sprocket is aligned between those two of the inlet camshaft sprocket. And now it is our reference point. Using a long screwdriver push against the chain and support against the sidewall for releasing the tensioner. Use a paper clip to lock the tensioner in the disengaged position. I am removing the first, third and fifth journal cap and then after sprocket removal gradually second and fourth. You can use a plastic tie to secure the sprocket. When you work on a car fasten it to the PCM bracket. Lift the camshaft timing chain side as shown. And turn it so that the fourth cam lob is pointing top. Remove the camshaft being careful and not damaging the fourth journal. The fuel pump joint stays in place. Assemble in reverse order, being careful on the fourth journal. Align marks by rotating the camshaft backwards. Check if rocker arms are in place, it's easy to knock them off. Check your marks. Tighten all journals first gradually until seated and to 10 newton meters. Check if the camshaft turns without resistance. Mount the sprocket back. If you cannot put it in its place, rotate the camshaft. Before you insert the bolt, check if locating pin is in the slot of the camshaft sprocket. Release the tensioner. 
Now what has left is to tighten the camshaft sprocket bolt to 120 Newton meters. Good luck with the job, thanks for watching and see you at the next one.